Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time it is while you're watching this, look at what I have for you today. Garden jungly update. So, Loretta. Oh, you're so hungry all the time. All right, I just gave her a tomato. Let me give her another one. Let me see if we have a tomato. All right, Loretta. One, two, three. Oh, snap. That was a fail. All right, here you go. Oh, I just picked this tomato, guys. Look at all of the tomatoes. I'm gonna show you this here in a minute. Let me get Loretta. Loretta! Okay, I definitely am not a basketball player. That was a complete fail. We have all this water because I'm gonna put my coffee right here. There you go. Tomato. Tomato. Alyssa is watering her garden over there, pulling the weeds. I'm gonna go around and take you full circle of the gorgeous flowers and fruits and vegetables. Y'all remember that a tomato is a fruit, not a vegetable. Look how beautiful these cherry tomatoes are. So we planted these this year with these sticks and it worked out great as you can see look how tall they get it's nice and stable the tomato plant is not falling over is this carrots oh my gosh you can pick one wow as i get bit up like crazy all right you want me to pick one Oh. You can give it to Beth or oh, oh, I don't think this is a carrot. There was nothing there. Huh? There wasn't a carrot in there. Is that a big one? That's all carrots. Okay. The donkeys like the carrot? Yeah. Leaves? Okay, fail number three for today. What else we got? Oh, oh, I feel it. It's mm -hmm. tiny. Look at this. It's so cute. It's a baby carrot. Oh, it's a baby watermelon. Lots of babies. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a baby <sighs> bean. Babies everywhere. Okay, let's go this way. Wow, it is definitely a jungle. All right, so we got lots of squash, different kinds of squash, spaghetti squash, acorn squash, butternut squash. Lots and lots of squash. Woo, okay, oh, hello there. All right, so look at this huge, ginormous sunflower all gonna have sunflower seeds. So all those flowers are turning into seeds, Alyssa? Huh? Oh, yeah. Wow. Tons of wild flowers. Marigolds. Oh my gosh. My favorite color ever. Look at this. Beautiful. So yeah, the corn didn't make it, guys. We don't know what happened, but sugar snaps. It did not, it didn't make it. It got all crusty and brown and it's actually not been that hot here in Texas. So too bad, so sad. But I think I'm gonna use these for some decorations this fall, possibly. Wow, that is just bad. More flowers. We picked a cucumber today. 
tomato land. I have got to eat one of these, actually. It's gotta go in my mouth, guys. Pop! Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Oh my gosh. Seriously, best ever. All right, so, there you go. Update on the garden. More tomatoes. Uh-oh. There we go. Got that little container. Okra is starting to grow. Look at this. It's got all of the seeds in it. So we're letting that dry out. We can taste test our own homegrown sunflower seeds. All right, moving right along. cocoon house all right so we're gonna feed Daisy May this is her little area she's got her bunny pellets and her Timothy hay she's got a little play hut that she likes to go in she's kind of territorial watch when I try to touch it like this is her hut I know I'm not gonna mess with it Daisy May okay we're gonna get you your fresh greens we got some cucumber bell pepper, romaine lettuce, and carrots today. Some days we do blueberries, broccoli, cauliflower. We have this little cookie sheet that's been working well. Rabbits do tend to dump their food if it's not a really heavy bowl. And I like how I can kind of spread everything out. All right, let's get Miss Beth fed. They do not live together because Miss Beth is a little aggressive towards her, pulling her hair out. They're both females. All right, Beth, you ready? Come over here. And I will add that this is all garden fresh. The bell pepper and the cucumber is from our garden. Let's give you a couple peppers. Come here, Bethy. Beth. She's got her little kennel that she likes to hang out in. Look what I have for you. Your romaine lettuce. Don't ever feed your bunnies iceberg lettuce, guys. There's like no nutrition and it can give them diarrhea. Beth, come here. Why are you being so shy for the camera? Come here. Yeah. Over here. All right, I'll give her a couple minutes. She's being shy because I'm filming her. You don't like to be filmed? Oh, you're so cute though. Beth is a mini Rex rabbit. Oh, you're so beautiful. Look at those ears. This is their day housing. We made this ourselves. this little bunny coop, I like to call it. It's got wheels. Fantastic for just taking around the yard, moving them to different spots throughout different weeks so that they not only can have a clean area, then all that bunny poo poo, it does kind of fertilize the yard. But right now we don't have any grass because of all that rain we got a couple months ago. It pretty much killed, as you can see, all of the grass. We have been putting hay, another update, all over the yard. It's all over here. See all this mud, just dirt, it's all gone. No more, no more grass. There is some beautiful grass right there. It's not growing very fast. So this is all of the old hay from our, one of our hay bales, a big round one. And 
on Binta peed on it when it was on the ground. Thank you, Binta. So now we're gonna spread it and use it all over the yard because when you put hay down, it will help for the grass to grow back. And the chickens have been having a heyday, going through all of this, pecking out stuff. It smells to holy heck, I'll tell you that. Binta, Binta, Binta. All right, oh, there's Beth. Waiting for Beth to eat her breakfast. Every time she sees me, everyone wants to see you eat, child. You're so cute. Little bunny tail. All right, Um. what else can I show you for updates? Let's go around and then if I catch her back over here, I'll come back. We got a new cart for hauling food, hay, garden stuff. This was from my mom and dad. Fun surprise, they shipped it to us. Definitely needed it because our other one that was a red uh, cloth one, it broke. So it was perfect timing, literally within days, they didn't even know that it had broke. And they um, called and said, we have a fun gift that we're sending you. Truly a blessing. You know, being on the homestead, we have lots of budget, so it's always nice. And I love when I can help other people out too, as well. Look at you guys, you're ready to come out, huh? Wonton, what did you do with your water? All right, another update that you guys have not seen yet because I've been so busy, it's hard to post videos, is on Wonton. So she is separate, let me show you her foot. So her leg and her foot got hurt a while back. Uh, she got out of the gate and Pablo was right there and accidentally, we don't know exactly what his intentions were, but she was kind of in his space because he likes to hang out right there by the gate. So her leg got injured. We wrapped it. We had popsicle sticks on it and it has healed, but it healed in a deformed way. The bone did. It was a fracture, it wasn't completely broke. She didn't appear to be in too much pain. We were monitoring her. It's been weeks now and she's doing fantastic. She ate the whole time, she drank the whole time. There was like a period of one or two days or when we were wrapping it, you could tell she was very uncomfortable. So today I am dumping your pool. We try to dump this every two days. This is a smaller pool, so really I could do it every day. Everyone's just hanging out, waiting to come out. They usually get let out around 11.30 a.m. to noon. And then they're out all day until they go back themselves into the coop at night when it gets dark around eight or nine. Well, hello, unicorn. How you guys doing? See what the horses are up to. They're munching away on the hay buffet. So this looks super funny. You gotta see this. It looks like a cocoon. So we had this huge round bale of hay and it was falling on the ground and then of course Binta again peed on some of it. So Alyssa went over there and took it and was throwing it up so that it's way high so that it kind of stuck to the tree. And they are just really loving it. Again, my neighbor next door found awesome deal on two big huge round bales only 50 bucks each normally one is a hundred dollars and we are so blessed he brought it over to us and it's been great having all of our neighbors including myself we all just team up i give my neighbors eggs any fruits and vegetables extra that i have especially like jalapeno peppers well hello we've got lots of peppers growing you need a little scratch? Oh, you're so soft from your bath. I love you. Oh, you're so adorable. You need a treat. Do you need a treat? And as always, I'm always repeating myself. When I say, like, do you need a treat? I always have to say it twice. Or if I'm like, you're so cute, I have to say, you're so cute. I guess it's like my way of confirmation for my own self. 
I just really enjoy telling my animals how cute they are. So I know. Hopefully it doesn't drive any of y'all crazy. Did you finally decide to come out? We also did a revamp of the garden box. We got some new fencing wire. This prevents the chickens from getting in there. We put in some sunflowers and it turned out fantastic. My son Chandler was helping. Let me show you that clip. Push. Push and trigger. More trigger. More push. Push, trigger, push, trigger. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Good job. All right, now pull. Pull. There we go. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Like this video and comment below. Look at that. Gorgeous.